area where Jared Hayne landed the plane in game number one, Blatchy's Blues. I walked the streets of Brisbane today with my wife and it is just an amazing city with its love of rugby league, its love of Maroon, its love of the Broncos and all things Brisbane. But they really have taken this match more than any match I can remember and I've been covering Origin since 1980. And there's the huddle of the New South Wales Blues. I've never seen Brisbane so excited about this. Maroon jumpers everywhere. And the final address from Cameron in the nine, the captain. And talking of captains, Boyd Cordner takes the Blues out. When he was 10, they said he was too young to play under 12 for New South Wales combined schools. At 21, he made his origin debut. And today, he's recovered from the calf muscle, we hope. At 25, he's finally come of age and risen to the captaincy of New South Wales. Boyd Cordner, the kid from Taree and Alba. Andrew Fafita. Star of the opening game. Queensland didn't really know how to handle this fellow, this runaway train. And you've heard Kevin Walters say that they've worked hard to block up that middle. Josh Dugan in his 12th game, 27 years of age. Canberra, Tugranong and the Valley. He played down there as a kid and still Cameron talks to the Maroons. Of course, Cameron Smith talking of captains. He's the longest serving Maroon in Origin history. He debuted in Origin game three, 2003. He's presided over four series wins and he captains tonight for the 21st time. Winner of six Man of the Match awards and four Wally Lewis medals. Freakish for the footballer who sometimes is referred to as an accountant in football gear. So the Maroons have given New South Wales plenty of time to register in their minds the feeling of the crowd. Smith and his deputy Slater Talking of Slater, this youngster that's on debut, Cameron Munster, deputised for Billy Slater for a couple of years with those shoulders. Now he steps into a bigger pair of shoes, well, maybe a bigger pair of shoes than those of Slater. He steps into Thurston's boots, the kid from Rockhampton, Cameron Munster. Twenty-two year old. So Queensland slowly but surely making their way back to observe the national anthem. Series 36, of course, surely will be remembered as the most intriguing of all. The series with a twist one day and a turn the next. Now it comes down to a decider in Brisbane, where if history repeats itself, the Blues have a huge mountain to climb. Saw a shot there of Matt Gillett waving to the crowd. Say family members, close friends and family, and it's it's such an involvement for them tonight as well. All these players, they, they, they want to win for themselves. Let's go down to the ground for the anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthem to be performed by Paulini from the hit musical The Bodyguard, opening July 19 at Brisbane's Lyric Theatre QPAC.
Paulini with Advance Australia Fair on the occasion of the 111th Origin game. And the delivery of the match ball by 14-year-old Piper Yuzalak. And she's undergoing treatment for leukemia here in Brisbane. That's her dad, Justin, in charge of the wheelchair. Piper, a student at Brisbane Sandgate High School. And a massive fan of the Broncos. And obviously a massive fan of Queensland. What a great thrill as she delivers the match ball to Matt Checken, who's the number one referee tonight on his fourth assignment. And Jared Sutton on 10. Well, I was talking about the motivation tonight. The players, they don't want to do well for themselves. They want to do well for their state. But their loved ones are a huge reason that they are here. The sacrifices that have been made. I want to make them proud as well. What an 80 minutes we have in store. We've seen Lang Park slash Suncorp Stadium. Majestic at times, but none better than tonight. So the entrees, they were delicious. But here comes the main course. We're underway. Queensland guarding the uh, southern end of the ground and the Blues guarding the Caxton Street end. So the first play of the night in the decider was with Dylan Napa, who had an outstanding second half in Brisbane. And so from one front rower to the other, and it's Maguire who plays the ball on the 20 metre line. And away to Matt Gillett, the youngster from Bribey Island, born at Maxville. And now for Cameron Smith, running the ball, running the ball early to the 40 metre line down the middle corridor. Woods was there to shut it down. And now for Jared Wallace, and he'll play the ball right in the middle of the ground. So Maguire ran a decoy to take some heat away from Kronk, who gets a big kick down the ground. Well fielded by Tedesco. A case of the tradesman and the apprentice out there tonight. Tedesco versus Billy Slater, his idol. Now for Jared Hay. Wrestled down by Wallace and Smith. And Hayne, as Brad Fittler pointed out, would be very anxious to redeem a couple of the mistakes that he made in game number two. Fafita just had his first run, and again the defence was all over him. And Woods then, likewise, to the 40 metre line, and Pete gets it away for Jackson. Brad Fittler, medal winner last year. In other words, the best for the Blues last year. Josh Jackson at all. Adam Maloney, charged down. All the kicking side will be onside in that situation. But Smith shut it right down. Played by Maloney, gone to Cordner. So Boyd threw one run. I'm just looking at him in the aftermath of that. I think he's OK. Pete's then to Pierce and back to Maloney. And Maloney got it away to Frizzell. And Tyson will play it. 20 metres out, they're in the middle. And Jackson with a fend, and then he puts it out the back. Pete's got it away, Tedesco's with the ball. And 12 metres out, on tackle five now. So Pete's, then to Pierce, and then to Maloney. He's looking for Morris, so Morris was taken out. Gagai, it might have been a case of milking. Not sure on that one, Slater. Well, I think the Queensland player might have got position, and that's all you have to do when the kick goes up, is get the early position, and then the chasers have to go around you. And that was, in fact, Will Chambers over there, doing exactly what Peter was talking about. Here's Munster. Gee, that's a good first touch from the number six, Munster. So Maguire running at close quarters with Smith, who got it on to Kronk instead. And then to Gillard, and Gillard, a bootlacer brings him down from Maloney. Played by Matt Gillard over there. Dally M, second rower of the year, as the ball is high from Kronk. Tedesco. To play the ball just outside the 20 metre line. Put down by Gagai. Seven tries and six origins. 
the youngster playing with Newcastle this year before going to South Sydney next year. Native of Mackay. Played by Wood. Now for Pierce. Now Dugan. And Dugan makes it to the 40 metre line. Over on our side of the ground, the broadcast side, the western side. So the ball has gone along the line. Ooh. Cordner almost obstructing Maloney. 30 metres out from the Queensland line, Pete. Then for Pierce, he puts a kick in on the wrong side. Slater leaves the ground. Tackle back on his own 10. And so far, so good. Penalty. Queensland get a penalty. First one of the match. First penalty of the match goes Marones. But defensively, uh, the new pairing out there at 5'8 and centre in Michael Morgan and Cameron Muncher, they've handled it well. The plenty of talking and pointing. You've got him, I've got him. They've been good out wide. And an ominous sign in the first four and a half minutes. Cameron Smith out of dummy half on a couple of occasions. We haven't seen a lot of latitude given to him in the early two games. But he's, he's got out a couple of times already. I talked about history here at Suncorp Stadium. And how it presents a big mountain to climb for the Blues. The ball z zims along that back line to Morgan. Now for Cooper in 11 to Munster. And this is Wallace, one of three Gold Coast Titans involved in the match. And away again to Smith, looking out at first receiver. And then it's gone along the line beautifully out to Gagai. As I said, he's got seven tries in six games, 20 metres out. And here's Crank to Smith at second receiver now. He's everywhere. Munster. And Munster was thinking about maybe one out the back, underneath and out the back. There are only ten out for Marones. And the Maguire, well done to Desco. The Queensland aren't frightened to play some expansive football early in this game. And Cameron Smith, he's playing dummy half, he's playing seven, he's playing six. He's got it all covered. It's as though he's, in some ways, gently Cameron Munster into the opening minutes. Woods. Penalty goes Blues. Time is up there. This will bring them away out of a, a dangerous situation. It's against Cooper. Well, we've had some great nights here at Suncorp Stadium, but I don't think I've heard a crowd as loud of this. In the opening six and a half minutes, they are right into this contest. And as you look out over there, it's Pretty very maroon here tonight. Again, Not many blue jerseys out amongst that crowd. We are in Brisbane. There's Mears on here. A decider. It doesn't get any better. We're not only in Brisbane, we're going right around Australia. And we're going into Perth Live, into Adelaide Live, down to Melbourne, and of course through Tasmania and to 97 countries around the world, either on replay or live. Six more is called, and Corden is with the ball. Wood was tackled, and I guess the ball must have been played at. Here's Hayne. Yeah, well, that's tackle one, so there was a restart of the tackle count. 30 metres out. Pierce. Now it's gone away to Jackson, and he's picked up where he left off in Sydney. He had an outstanding game. So Nathan Peets and now James Tedesco with that, that little interrogation of his. Twinkle toes, Tedesco. Pierce inside ball for Feeder. Well, the big man is put down by Billy Slater and Gavin Cooper. Now they go away wide to Pierce. Oh, Cordner wasn't expecting it. And the crumbs has been won by Maguire. That's a good play by Maguire. It's or by Wallace it was. It's the second time that Cordner has overrun his assignment on that left-hand side. Noticed in that set of six that Billy Slater was up in the defence line the whole time. There was no one behind the line for the grubber kick. Chambers. And this is Morgan now. Queensland's newest centre. One of three players from Townsville involved in the game. And Smith back to Slater. Jinx and stops. Goes away. Jeanette. 
Now, here is Chambers again from the Northern Territory. Played back to Gaga. Now to Cry. Is it his last game? He kicks. Cooper goes up for the bat down. Slater will retrieve. Kicks over the head of Pete. Back to Morris, who's back peddling. Morris has got the ball. Fantastically, really. After the running challenge of Gillette. Well, it's been a superb open from, New, from Queensland. New South Wales on the back foot early in this game. Oh. Gordon is crunched. Gordon hit by Napa and Gaga. Woods. So 25 metres out from their own line. You can hear the referee, Jared Sutton. Get off his arm, get off his arm. That is in relation to having a hand on the ball or the arm carrying the ball. They both will attract a penalty. Pierce. It's a long kick down over the head of Slater, who has to run back. Gagai was going to offer him something. But Slater plays the ball on his own 30-metre line. Gagai there now with him. So Holmes goes in for his first touch. Smith then, back to the open side, back to dummy half now, Smith. He's been, as Paul Vorton pointed out, he's been at one, he's been at two. Now he's back doing what he does best. Front forward pass, I thought. Just on the Queensland side of halfway. An intriguing series. And a mouth-watering game three as Tedesco goes up, he loses it. He's offside, Maloney. Penalty, Queensland. Yeah, Maloney had to fall on that ball. He couldn't afford for it to get back in Queensland hands on a zero tackle. At least the penalty, if they don't kick for goal, will give his defence a chance to settle up. But all the pressure at the moment with the Queenslanders. Moving the ball from sideline to sideline. Very well structured. The Melbourne Storm Quartet in the spine has them really well organised. And this will be a big test defensively for New South Wales right here. They've only ever won two deciders in Brisbane. In 94 and 05, here's Gillett. Eight metres out now. Pulled down by Peets. A chance here for Queensland. Maguire. No surprise to see Fafita in the defence. And here is Kronk throwing dummies and Hayne appealed for a, an obstruction. Smith then to Munster. Loses his footing. Isn't he here? Frizzell to beat. And here they are again with Slater up there at first receiver. And Napa is with the ball. It doesn't matter how big, they can't run without legs. Play back again for Smith. This is the last. They've got to survive this. Tedesco. He played the gamble at one. Yeah, great defence by New South Wales. So, the Blues holding out. A really good chance there for the Maroons. Now for Ferguson. Dugan made a good run. Ferguson another. Woods now. Held by Cooper. Their major aim, Queensland, is to shut the ball down. With Woods and Fafita, shut the ball down. Frizzell, 32 metres out from Queensland's line. Peach then away for Jackson, then for Fafita. And he did get an offload away then. Jackson looked underneath to see if there was somebody ready for a flick pass. It's a sloppy play, the ball. It's a scrum. Yeah, the Queensland defence tonight's been outstanding. The corridor that New South Wales found in game one, which is right down the middle, that's been shut up. He surrendered, He just dropped in the tackle. He goes trying to play the ball. The ball comes loose. If he's going to do that, he's going to play correct, mate. He played it. He was on his feet. That's the explanation. They can't crowd the ruck. Yeah, the Queensland defence outstanding, especially in the middle of the ruck. He surrendered, right? So a defender doesn't have to get off straight away. Yeah. And then he tries to play it before he's able to. He's got to bring it up. 
Let's take a sideline comment, Brad Fittler. Well, Aaron Woods was lucky not to lose possession of the tackle before. Just on the conditions, you saw Cameron Munster go over. She's pretty soft underfoot, as soft as I've seen at Suncorp Stadium. The key's going to be running straight or working in numbers. You're going to have to work in numbers to find some space here. Well, it's been said many times that a fast pitch, of course, suits New South Wales. And I don't know that the records support that, but uh, we are talking about Suncorp here being, according to Brad, as slow as you've seen it. Quite spongy and damp on top. This is Gavin Cooper. Playing it back to his captain. And for Wallace to go away. Cronk turning it in for Slater inside. And Frizzell was groping there for a tackle. Morgan, Morgan got the ball away. Here's a chance for Holmes. Holmes got a try. Holmes got one on debut. And he's got another one. Burnett. On tackle five. Morgan brilliant again in that centre position where he was when he provided the pass for Gagai in game two. Fingers on the ball. Looking to determine whether Valentine Holmes maintains possession of the ball. So that's what we're looking at. Fingers on the ball. Did he lose? Was there separation? I think he was losing it, but I'm not sure... The live decision to try, we're confirming the live decision. He maintains possession to the ground. Have a decision and going to the board. Now he was losing it, but he was just able to keep a finger on it as it hit the ground. Try the first. So the 21-year-old from Cronulla Sutherland, the 21-year-old from the Premiers, gets his second origin try, Peter. He knows how to cut it fine, doesn't he? He got the opening try for Queensland in game two, tiptoeing down the sideline. On the Harvey Norman replay here, it's the second phase play. Billy Slater giving a pass away. Offloading and Michael Morgan, explosive ball runner. Able to get on the outside of Josh Dugan and swivel the pass back inside as he did to Dane Gagai for a try in that second game. And Valentine Holmes, despite the attention of three Blues, gets the football down. Yeah, they've completed eight sets of six from eight opportunities, Queensland. They've been perfect with the ball. New South Wales, six from nine. Those couple of errors has really handed the momentum to the Maroons. So Cameron got the kicking duties and he can keep it for now 6 nothing to score we've had 16 minutes of the decider Darren Lockyer a comment this is the advantage of changing angles they go to shift it to the right the Maroons and dropping off Billy Slater here he comes across field he chews up four or five and then with the offload he chews up seven Blues defenders then gives Morgan a bit of space on the outside of Dugan and well read well pass Valentine Holmes does the rest. This is Queensland's best start to the, each game in the series. Yeah, they've been strong. They've been Time really good run, in defence, and that's floating through their attack. And Michael Morgan, he's a star, isn't he? Set up the winning try, and then a similar type play for that, that try to Holmes. So Napa it is who brings it back. Just inside that 20 metre line. Run then for Jared Wallace. Includes some juniors at Sawtell. Played alongside Josh Jackson. There's a, a little kid up in Mudgee. Here's Maguire again. Getting better with every game. Mightn't have a love affair going with Andrew Fafita, but he's getting the job done. Smith offload to Slater. Here they come, the rampaging Maroons. And Kronk 
Crump gets his fourth try of a glorious origin career. And again, I ask the question, is this it for Cooper? Try, confirmed grounding, please. He's just checking the grounding. The Queenslanders all know he scored, but they're checking the grounding. He slid in, he got down low, he had to. Oh, is, no, nah. that's a try. You think it's a knock-on there? Cooper has lost possession of the ball, and it rolls along the ground. He's lost it. In the field of play before it reaches the goal line. Have a decision going to the board. Yeah, he lands on the ground before the try line, and it lands on the point, and it just forces the ball out of his grip. He dived early. He was trying to avoid the cover defenders. The point of the ball hits the ground before the line, and that's enough to take it out of his grasp. He was trying to get down low before Morris came across. You'll see the point of the ball hit the ground, and that's enough to shake it loose of his arm. Yeah, no, correct decision. And they're on the ropes, New South Wales, at the moment. Caught out in the marker position there. Aaron Woods didn't want to give the penalty away. He wasn't square at marker. And Billy Slater up the middle. He was kept very quiet in that area in game two. Well, there's room to move now, and it's Brett Morris who was able to dislodge the football in that tackle in an absolute try saver. He might have just gone to ground a step early, Gus. Yeah, he did. That's what happened. He, he was trying to get down low because he felt Morris and Tedesco coming. Back at the play, the ball, Aaron Woods has got to make the tackle. He can't pull out of the tackle because he's offside. You've got to make the tackle. Give the penalty and back your defence. So here's the feet up. And they maul in across the top of Andrew Fafita, 10 metres out from the Blues line. And this is Frizzell. He's inside the 20, but he's in middle ground. Didn't like something that uh, happened there in the play the ball with Cameron Smith. Well, it won't be long before Trebojevic and Clemmer come into this game. Already on their feet on the sideline. Jack Bird will be into the game before half-time as Cordner bumps out of one before claimed by Chambers. Nathan Peets then using the blindside call from Maloney. And James Maloney. Nobody has persevered more for success than James Maloney. Got a little luck at Parramatta and Melbourne before the Warriors to a grand final, to the Roosters to win one, to Cronulla to win another. It's been a long road for him. Monster from Orange and Gosford. 30 metres out now from the Queensland line. It's played there by Gago. And now for Napa. And he'll play it on that red line, which is the 40 metre line. And another comment from the sideline, Darren. Cameron Smith in the first two games. Hold the phone because here's Gagai. And every time he handles the ball, you've just got to put a punctuation mark in it. And Cronk it is with a double pump. And then he runs over to commit Pierce before taking the tackle. Darren, pick it up from there. He had two runs for eight metres game the first two games. Tonight, he's decided to run the football. He's got 45 metres already. And that's been the difference to Queensland's attack. Tedesco safe on the 10 metre line. He was accommodated by Morgan. Now for Ferguson. Seventh origin game for Blake to find the try line. And Woods goes off and Clemmer comes on for the Blues. Who trail 6-0. David Clemmer on the, on the paddock now with the ball. And he's met by Gillett and Maguire. And now it's a way for Pierce to kick. A little challenge from Smith. Marked beautifully by Holmes. And here goes Valentine. Oh, he ran into Maloney's shoulder. And the head went back. The two sharks came together. Gagai will play it to Slater. Now for Chambers. been with Melbourne apart from the two breaks that he took to play rugby for the Reds and the Irish rugby union team Munster here's Smith getting under Pierce and going back to Cooper Frizzell and Clemmer making the tackle it's again it's a it's a fast game so the big men are starting to appear as though it's it's um, draining them I'd like to get some Telstra tracker figures on the first 20 minutes of play here because this is extraordinary football. 
These Origin players are the best of the best, the elite. And the quality of football we're seeing here tonight is outstanding. We thought game one was good, but this is brilliant. What about the body collisions, Gus? They're unbelievable. And that kick from Cameron Munster, that was, you know what, let's take a break kick. Yeah, it was. And it's there's brilliant ball movement. It's all Queensland at the moment. New South Wales are just hanging on, hanging on. That disallowed try to Cronk is a real let off for them because the scoreboard doesn't quite reflect Queensland's position at the moment. So, Trebojevic, who had a, an instant impact. And the first appearance was made of the youngster here in game one. Clemmer now. And the young front rowers by olden day standards, aren't they? Here's Trebojevic with that, that pet play of his. Tedesco is saying to the referee, what about tackle with, uh, without the ball, sir? And he makes a very good point. He was running support for Trebojevic. He was taken out without the ball. As Maloney puts a high kick together. And Hayne is there. Missing, but eventually he was taken by Morris. And they're back just outside their 10, as you can see. And his chambers... Many people think he's the best centre in the game. Will Chambers. Gagai, 22 out. He's made 65 metres, Dane. Valentine has made 59 on the other side. And Cameron Smith has got Papali running with him, but he, he puts a kick down to bounce high. Tedesco on the fly, tries to go through. Pull down though. Over on the far side of the ground by Cooper Cronk. 40 metres out from their own line then, the Blues. It's 6 nothing in Origin 3 for Holden. Ferguson now playing it for Nathan. And now Boyd Cordner makes valuable ground. He put about 7 or 8 metres behind him. Pierce and then Frizzell. And then Dugan loses the ball. Cooper. Well, that's a better play from the Blues. Straight, hard running from Frizzell and Dugan, but the ball came loose. Looks a good opportunity for them. Here's got Parley now. Josh Papali brings Canberra back into the equation. As this man, Munster, together with Ben Hunt. Do for Rockhampton. Here's Wallace. Seven or eight metres into New South Wales's area. And it's with Cronk. Now it's Gillett. Now it's Chambers. Chambers puts a kick in. Infield kick, but Tedesco. He's in the right position. He's always been absolutely perfectly placed. Jackson. Queensland very keen to get Will Chambers at Jared Hayne. Tossed a tackle there, maximum speeds. Cooper Cronk at 34.9 would have, would have been when he was running for that try. Tedesco, there's some top speeds there at the moment, particularly from the outside backs. Slater. Gagai. You're watching game three of the 2017 State of Origin around Australia live. Across the globe to 97 countries. 25 minutes gone. Cohen Hess is there. And he'll play the ball. This big kid who's played 24 top grade games for 15 tries. Slater drops it down. It's Maguire running at Trubojevic. Those offloads are telling. An offload from Slater created the first one. Munster's got the ball away. Smith! Smith takes off, gets the ball away. Papali, Papali grasped about seven metres out by Tedesco. Smith floats the ball. Crump puts a kick across the ground and Valentine, oh. Valentine strikes again. 
Oh, that's one of the great origin tries. Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Cooper Cronk. The kick. Amazing. Well, the break made by Cameron Smith straight through. Hung off him. Papali was looking for support. And on the Harvey Norman replay, what about this? Saw a similar kick in game one for Corey Oates to score. Shapes to kick it much straighter than that across his body. Ferguson has come in because of the shape of Cooper Cronk's body and puts it on his chest. So we are back. You have rejoined a joyous crowd here. It's a capacity crowd of 52 and a half thousand. And as we've told you repeatedly, it is a, a ground that is drenched in Moreau. And they love this one. And Paul Vorton got it right. That was one of the great origin tries. Well, when Cooper Cronk got that ball on tackle five, he had probably three or four options in mind. That option I never thought of. A low flat kick across field without even trying to get it to the end goal. It was like a 40 metre pass off your foot. It was brilliant. There were any number of options he could have taken. What possessed him to do that, only Cooper Cronk will know. It was brilliant. So Smith deputising again for first in, and he's right on line. When he's on line, that's ominous. Brad Fittler sideline. Well, hasn't the captain had an impact? Two goal kick from the sideline. Here's another run out of dummy half. Find Billy Slatter on the inside. That's the earlier one to Cooper Cronk for the no try. And this try again came on the back of a Smith break. And this had absolutely no room for error. The speed and the height of that. If he doesn't hit that perfect, it's either over their head, into the crowd. Stay behind it. Well, Josh Dugan takes it on his chest. What a brilliant kick by Cooper Cronk. Well, Cameron Smith is a difference at the moment. He's the most influential player in our game and the most influential player in this game. Okay, now, Josh. So, 11 and a half minutes of the first half remaining. It has been a dominating performance by Queensland. Here's Cohen Hess. Well, they've been perfect, absolutely perfect, which they've done a number of times at this ground over the years, but this is brilliant tonight. Munster! Got the ball away to Cooper. To Gavin. Gavin. Gets a left foot kick down to Ferguson. And Ferguson will play the ball on the 10 metre line. You heard the word surrender. And you would have heard the referee earlier explaining to Boyd Cordner that when a player surrenders, you can lie on him for longer. You can actually work him on the ground if you want to. You can't pull him into touch. You can't lift him up and put him into touch. But it does give the defender much more latitude. And here's Cordner with the ball now. 35 metres out from his own line. Maloney, Trebojevic. And again, he puts, he puts some good metres together there. Hard yards. As Pierce drops one down to Slater. Now with Valentine home. Three tries for Valentine. In two games. Gagai. Playing the ball inside the 40. Papali. Josh Dugan just signalling to the sideline. He needs some strapping on that leg. Wade Graham with an interchange card in his hand. So and Smith one again. Mark, Smith away. Cronk. 
thought he had a chance there, but Jackson shut him down. Now Smith behind Hess to Munster, a show, and that's gone to Morgan. And Morgan will play the ball on the 20 metre line. Smith again getting into dummy half. Munster puts his left foot kick up again, and it's marked brilliantly by Hayne. Come back, come back. New South Wales hasn't been able to play any football at all in this first half. We've hardly seen the other end of the field. Total domination of possession and field position by the Maroons. Something's got to break for New South Wales to get them back in this. Cordner now. Back on his own 20 metre line. Here's Clemmer. And uh, 12 metres there for him. New South Wales clearly need to be the next scorer as Maloney goes to the line, shapes in, takes the tackle. Wade Graham out there now. So Pierce gets a kick high down to Holmes. Holmes grabbing the wing opportunity with injury, as it turned out, for Corey, o for Corey Oates. Tim Glasby into the game. Maguire's left the field. And here's Gagai. Darren, Darren picked it pretty early about Gaga. He's he's lifted his involvement rate markedly. This is Glasby from Melbourne. Played some played some games with Penrith from memory. Tells to track it down there in the corner. Shows that New South Wales players, five out of the top six, have covered more ground than any Queensland. That's the pressure of having to defend all the time. Is Tedesco getting underneath the kick from Kronk. And they're back, as you can see, they're just getting outside their 10. They've just so got to hang in. Something will give sooner or later, but they've got to hang in there. They can't let Queensland score again. Graham. And the penalty goes just like too long in the tackle is the ruling. And this will be the first bit of oxygen they've had in their lungs for our, for ages. What can they muster here on the back of some fatigue and a lot of defence? Clemmer. To all the penalties. First penalty of the game went to Queensland. Here's Trebojevic. Maloney did well. Dugan, can he unload? No. Gets buckled over the back, plays it on the 40 metre line for Zell to dummy half. Trebojevic taking it up to the 30. So Pete and Pierce out the back, a double block run. Maloney got it back into Tedesco at 20 metres out. And Maloney to Cordner and Cordner to Graham. He might make his, his presence felt. Graham down at this end of the ground. And here's Hayne. And the ball has come back at a cross. Handover. And it's a handover. Well, not played up by Queensland. Time off, Church. Time, time off, time off. Four time off. Malcolm Square. Time on. You're sitting up there quite contentedly, Mr. Well, no, Horton. Well, it's never over till it's over, but New South Wales just put on a play right down their right hand side, and they might be encouraged by the fact that Michael Morgan, who hasn't played a lot of centres, made a decision to sprint in. He actually made the tackle, but if New South Wales can look at that, they might be able to work something down their right hand side. Here's Munster shaping to go back in. He'll play the ball 35 out. And he's his own line, Smith then using Hess. Two man tackle, Pierce and Dugan. No knock on, I'm pretty sure he recaptured before it hit the ground. Papali, and then back for Munster. And he's a bit of a dancer, he's a, a tremendous talent, light on his feet. And here is Morgan now on the 30 metre line. The Melbourne spine. 
long time since we've seen a club side provide the entire spine in an origin match. Yeah, it's been really interesting play from the Queenslanders. So expansive, running them around. Really playing like they believe they're the better team and their execution's been perfect. New South Wales only two attacking sets of six. They've looked a little disjointed, but a lot of that can come from fatigue and just energy and defence from the Queenslanders. You can see the two coaches, how tense it is in the boxes up there. He's been good, Munster. Uh, the way he's running around out there in the park, it's like he's playing for the East Tigers three years ago in Brisbane. It's State of Origin. It's his first game. It's his debut. He's handled it really well. So the Blues out to the 30-metre line. Talking about an NRL club supplying the, the entire spine. This is only the second time in history. We're back in game two of 94, the Broncos provided Kevin and Kerrit Walters, Julian O'Neill and a bloke called Alan Langer. Knocked down by Queensland. I thought, away goes Glesby. Glesby pulled down miraculously by Maloney. And Glesby was there to accept the trophy. Picked up off the ground, has gone to Munster, gone to Smith. Smith is able to unload. Holmes gets oh, three. Forward pass. Forward pass rule. Take it back. Well, that's an incredible save from New South Wales. Incredibly on the play before, shot, shot, shot. where it appeared like a Queensland knock on, the referees yelled out, wasn't played at. The ball goes back inside. It hits it's Gillette and goes head. forward. Hits him off the head. So it was play on. It's lucky that someone chased. Glasby shortening stride. They were able to make the tackle through Maloney. They were gone here. They just had to score. Smith just had to pass. Oh, he's done a Jared Hayne down this corner. Now he tried to offload and got it going forward. That's a miracle save by New South Wales and another let off. Well, you can thank Maloney for even chasing. Oh, it's a great chase by Maloney. Well, everyone else stopped. Yeah. They all thought it was a knock on. And you know what? Not bagging Tim Glaser. If anyone else catches that ball, it's a Queensland try. His corner. He's doing plenty of hard work out there. He's more of a front row forward than anything in this game tonight. Here's a penalty for... Oh, leave it! Leave What's it! Ball? Stealing against Queensland is the ruling. Well, they really got to think about this New South Wales. When they find touch with this ball, there'll be about 90 seconds left to play. They'll get one attacking set. If they've been working on anything over the last six weeks in Origin camp that's special, they need to produce it here. They need to try. Clemmer then. With a minute and a half of uh, the first half remaining. Here's Pierce. Now Graham. We've got a wonderful combination. Trebojevic back for Pierce across and skipping out of a tackle to Desco. He's 12 metres out from the line, down the middle. 12 nil in favour of Queensland. Here's Maloney. He goes long to Dugan. Dugan and Morgan. He loses the ball. Munster's come away. Munster. Ducking and bobbing and weaving his way out of trouble. Gagai gets rid of Hayne. Goes another 12 metres up to the 20 metre line. Incredible. So Smith, Cooper Cronk in the back plays. Saying to his players, settle, settle. Yeah, the counter-attack from Queensland there was extraordinary. So this is Gavin Cooper, the big number 11. He'll play it on the 40-metre line. Now, talking of large, Josh Papali. So we've got a matter of seconds remaining in the first half. It's been all Queensland. Almost as Gus... Oh, Kronk has taken a shot from long range. Why not? Tedesco, underneath it and brings it back to be tackled. And that's the end of the half. 
52 and a half thousand. It appears in Maroon Jumpers stand and applaud. Well, they've witnessed a perfect 40 minutes of football from the Queenslanders. They've saved their best to last. Brad Fittler. Yeah, Mitchell Pearce, how are you feeling out there? Hey, mate, it's a tough slide. We're, uh, we're really losing the ruck there for all that period. And, uh, Smithy's getting out and doing some damage around the ruck, so we've got to get back in, get some field position, and uh, get some fresh legs back in the second half. Go have a rest, mate. Thanks, Fred. Locky. Coops, 12 nil. Probably could have been more. Yeah, it could have been, but that's what Origin's about. It's about just hanging there when you don't have it. We had a fair bit of possession, so I bet our defence better hold up in the second half. All right, mate, thanks for your time. Good luck, Sam. Thanks, Locky. Up to you, Brace. Coming up, McDonald's halftime. Wally Lewis and Andrew Johns to discuss the opening 40 minutes with Queensland leading New South Wales 12 0. You are watching Holden State of Origin, The Decider, exclusively live and free on Nine. Yeah, it's been a runaway success, Ninja Warrior. Well done to the team that's putting that together. New South Wales needs a bit of that good fortune coming their way. Brad Fittler is with Laurie Daly. Well, it's just a matter of possession. Yeah, oh, look, errors killed us. Um, but, you know, you've, you've got to be able to handle that. Uh, we haven't. Um, game should have been dead. But the fact we're only 12 behind gives us an opportunity to still go on and win it. When you're talking to them about if we can turn the possession rate around, things will change. What was it look like you are getting back? Yeah, no, it was very positive. Um, but, we, you know, it, it'll depend on how we start. We've got to start with plenty of energy and we've got to, you know, go set for set with him. If we can do that, I'm still confident that we can win. Uh, it's going to take a huge effort, though. All right, good luck. Cheers, mate. All right, Laurie Daly there with Brad Fittler. Queensland have, uh, again, made New South Wales wait as long as they possibly can. 27 times they've led at half-time at Suncorp. Gus, guess how many times they've lost? Have they lost? Maybe once or twice? I don't know. Take your pick. One or two. I'll go one. You got it. Really? You got it. Well, this is true when it's been done. It's possible. New South Wales have got to come together as a team. You know, it's in these tough times where you've really got to believe in each other and play for each other. And usually when Queensland are on top, New South Wales become a little bit isolated. They've just got to believe. They've got to believe in each other, believe in themselves, and they've got to keep coming. Queensland will. Let me put one to you very quickly. They've worked out for Fita. This is me talking as a spectator, not as a, not as a coach. Why wouldn't he, instead of trying to pass in traffic, why wouldn't he think occasionally about passing before the line? Before the line. It's a very interesting question you raise. Then there was silence. Well, yeah. What are your best, Gus? Answer it, Jim. Well, it's it's hard it's hard to to ask them to do that in Origin when stay behind. They've never done it in their career. So here we go, the second half, the last half of Origin, 2017, and Clemmer comes galloping back. So what have we had? Two halves of football, and they haven't scored a point. The Blues. And this is Trubojevic in a three-man tackle from Queensland. They've got to get on the front foot early here. They've got to really force the pace. Frizzell taken low by Cooper. And then Pete's away to Cordner on that right-hand blind side. And now for Pierce to turn it back on the inside for Trubojevic. So we're on the halfway line. Pierce. Well, under pressure there from Hess, but got his kick away. And Gagai on the 20 metre line, and they've marched him back a couple. This crowd totally wrapped in what they're seeing. Well, not totally, there is a percentage. New South Wales um, New South Wales supporters here. It's not able to recognise that, but they've got a capacity crowd here of 52 and a half, and uh, they're loving it. 
Papali takes it a couple of metres into Blues territory. Wrapped up by Trebojevic and it's gone to Munster. And he kicks down into the corner for Ferguson. So Blake will play the ball just inside the 20 metre line. Now to Desco. Nathan Peets, big year for him. Of course, the birth of his second son just in the last week. The La Perouse Jr. His girlfriend Jade and baby boy Harley. Oh, Jordan had it on his fingertips. A, I think he had an attendant there called Munster, though. Played by Cooper. Well, that's seven or eight errors for New South Wales. You just can't come to this environment and do that stuff. Holmes. Queensland have been near perfect. For New South Wales they just keep disintegrating at the crucial moment. Here's Glasby. Well, the completion rate's at half time, 95% Queensland, 65 New South Wales. Throw in a couple of penalties each. And Cooper Cronk now comes to short side, a short ball to Gillett. How is the dressing room, Pete? Any signs of panic or are all good down there? No, well, they're very disappointed with what they've seen, but they're looking for a reversal of what happened in game two. Papali did well. Smith got it away. Slater's with it now. Running to Chambers. Went forward off Chambers. Advantage to the Blues. Frizzell probably didn't have to worry about going into touch. Well, they're nearly in again there. And again from an offload. They're just not locking up the ball carrier. The ball comes out, juggled by Smith, but finds his partner, Slater, who surges around Hayne, one-handed pass. Chambers couldn't get a grab on it. And that was the other positive for New South Wales at half-time, was the scoreline, to be honest. This game could have been over by the break. Telstra tracker, the intensity meter. Nathan Peets has been terrific, but across the board, Queensland with far more intensity in the first half. The trend continues. That shows itself on the scoreboard. So Pierce inside ball for Cordner. The captain making the bird of possession on that occasion. Trebojevic. Clemmer then. Pierce. Now Graham. A few metres on their own side of halfway. Brazil. Maroons aiming for their 11th series win in 12 years. And the ball did it come off the balls. It's gone down to Queensland. And Slater, there's no advantage there for them. So he's decided to go with the, the changeover and brings them out to where there is an advantage on the 10-metre line. Yeah, Tyson Brazel's lifted. His last three surges have been tremendous, running really hard straight at the line, like 10, 15 metres every time. Chambers. A few more of them. Smith then goes away to Cooper. They're appealing over there for a high tackle. Gavin Cooper on the 40-metre line. Munster to Glasby. Then to Cronk. Here's Slater showing it, coming away. Chambers. He's about to try and do something with Gagai on his inside. And Cronk. He's away. He's almost through. That's gone forward. And the referee will just let this work itself out, whether the Blues get an advantage from it. Here it is over here, and they don't, so they go back here, to boys. the ball going forward, and change over Wait is the him, call. Jared. Cameron! Cameron! They've got to get some possession Cameron. at the end of the field because their defence is starting to deteriorate here. They're looking raggedy in defence. And Queensland is sizing them up for another one. They need some ball at the other end. 
Gillett coming together. Big collision. 40 metre line under Clemmer. Maloney inside to Boyevich to the halfway. Gillard is still there in 12, around the leg. Jack Bird out there now for New South Wales in 17. Football now. Maloney, very disappointed he didn't get the ball. Over on the left side, it went right, it went open side to Tedesco. Plays it to Dugan, then Pierce. And then he comes across to Maloney, now it's out to Graham. That's what Maloney was worried about. He had something cooked up with Graham and he wanted it two tackles ago. Here he is again now on the right side, putting it into the corner to Valentine Hart. Try coming up for Dugan. Dugan goes in for his third try in origin. Well, that's the one they wanted. It's been a long wait. A long wait. That's their first points in over 120 minutes of football. But Dugan's able to make the grab and on the Harvey Norman replay, plants it down alongside the post. They're back. Well, there he is, the try scorer, Josh Dugan. And it brings it back to 12 4 with the kick to come. Well, I had to be the next to score. Simple as that. Let's breathe new life into this game now. Set at half time. 12 wasn't a reflection of the Queensland dominance in the opening 40 minutes. Important now for New South Wales to get to their kick after scoring points. And try and keep the momentum. So Maloney seldom makes a mistake. 12 6 a score, 49 minutes gone. Brad Fittler sideline. Well, Mitchell Pierce sent a warning the set before. Here's a kick from the set. See Blake Ferguson come down. Got a good jump on it too, but it was a knock on. It was nearly exactly the same kick. Well, they call a box kick. James Maloney put up in the box. Dugan got the better of Valentine Holmes. It's a bit of a speggy, but it was a beauty Speak. one. A very timely speggy. 12-6. The Blues are back. Well, they needed it, and they got it. And it came on the back of some really good hard running. Not only Tyson Frizzell, but Jake Trevojevic has been outstanding. Plenty of hit-ups for him and plenty of metres. So now we have to see Time what the champions run, can come back with. Down to Tedesco. And now for Clemmer. I meant to say in the first half, well done to those who put that package together, paying homage to Jonathan Thurston. And who would have thought after 36 consecutive games, he'd be up in the coach's box watching his farewell origin game? Doesn't seem fair, does it? Right now it's 12-6 in favour of his team over New South Wales. He's just given a little set that maybe they're coming back. And Graham, 37 metres out from the line. Only one marker and he's backing away. Maloney puts a kick into the corner. Up goes Billy Slater. And he's come down eight metres out from the line. Watch Billy Slater get his hands above his head here. Valentine Holmes tried to catch the ball on his chest. Watch the replay of Billy Slater where he gets his hands above his head. He's not going to be out jumped with his hands up there. That's the experience of Billy Slater. Well, the Blues are throwing plenty at them at the moment. Oh, the Browns are trying to get outside the 10. It's been lost as a mistake. Hayne has got the ball. Well, that's come from intense defence. Graham away. Bird has got the ball. Taken by Cooper over there, together with Napa, who hangs on as long as he can. Pierce in. Clemmer backing up. 
So it's the second tackle as Peach goes across to the middle for Trebojevic. 12-6 in favour of Queensland. That's where they are, pressing down Three towards row. the Caxton Got Street end. Inside 10. Hand on the Three ball, penalty right. right in front. Yeah, I'd nearly kick for goal here because that's what Queensland want to do. They want to give penalties away knowing it's not going to cost them points. You're not going to get a penalty in front of the post when it's 12-all. Trebojevic run around with Peets, out to Pierce, gone on from Tedesco, Ferguson did well. And he's put down. Seven metres out from the line. Dugan, Pierce, Cordner. Cordner nailed nine metres out. Peets has a look around, he goes to his half-back. It's come away to Maloney, Maloney to Tedesco, to Hain. And Hain taken. Two metres out, played to Morris. Now for Bird. Bird crabbing across that ten and then straightens up. He's put down and tackled on four, right in the middle of the ground again. Out it comes to Pierce. Gets a pass uh, out the back, out to Pete. Now with Graham. Graham to Hayne. Hayne gets away from one. Taken down. Five gone. Hayne to play the ball to Peach to the open side. Maloney, he kicks for Dugan. It happened once, it might happen again. It's gone to Ferguson, gone to Cordner. Cordner's pass has gone astray. Picked up by Smith now for Queensland. That was so close. Well, Queensland have done well to hang on there. New South Wales threw everything at them. Jared Haynes particularly getting involved. A couple of really strong runs by him. Queensland, desperation stakes for them. Gagai, Napa, up comes Graham and hits him hard, another big collision and then he and Peach lift Dylan up and take him back a couple of metres, oh Maguire felt one from Cordner, the ball has come away, it's a rake, it's a rake, Fury, Ray Graham, he's ruled a rake, Pushing shove Wade Graham's in there pushing and shoving. Well, some huge defence here from New South Wales. Gets a result with another turnover. Uh, he's played at the football. Wade Graham there. Gave away a similar, pe similar penalty in game number two. Darren Lockyer. Yeah, that goal line defence by the Maroons, that was unbelievable. That's what Origin's all about. They're the moments where you win and lose big games. New South Wales threw it back at them in that set, but they've got the penalty. Pressure relieved. So Cameron. Tony Ellis. Cameron Smith, I need to remind myself of, with Cameron Munster out there in this match. The Blues have lifted. They, they have lifted their defence, their intensity in defence. Munster for Cooper. 25 away. So they defended stoutly up the other end. What about down here? Smith gets it on to Napa. Napa put down under Clemmer and Peach. Smith then to the open side, to Glasby, to Munster, to Cooper. Names that have been presented to us for the first time in origin. In the nine changes they've made, Cronk around the back, Gillette, Slater, Gagai. Gagai put away. Not yet, he hasn't been, he's been taken into touch. Again, good intense. Good intensity in defence by New South Wales. Now the Telstra tracker tells us that New South Wales have lifted their intensity for nearly 10% in this second half. You can see the difference. This is great defence. They hold him up off the ground, keep his feet on the ground, march him out of the stadium. Twelve six the score after 56. Telstra tracker there. You can see that Jack Bird's had a big impact since coming from the bench. Let's go, 
with his metres per minute. David Clemmer. Underneath Napa and Glasby. Nine changes Kevin Walters and his selectors have made in the series. They haven't dared to do that since 2001. Dugan. Here's Bird. Been aching for more minutes, I think. Been given a good chance here. Pierce goes very hard. Slater. Hard to get a mistake out of him, isn't it? There's a lot of Queensland forwards walking back here with hands on hips. Hoping that their backs will get in there and do some work. Give Gag it a spell. Gagai. How's the, the second half completions looking? They were staggering badly against New South Wales at half time. Well, Aaron Wood's out there now, and David Clemmer comes off. He's been superb for New South Wales. That's a really strong charge from Josh Maguire as well. Fourth tackle, Smith out of dummy half. Glasby hit hard by Bird. Collision off the ball for Holmes. Strong. It goes high. Tedesco has been impeccable back there. And New South Wales have completed six from eight. Queensland, three from six. That is starting to turn around. Here's Morris now. So Brett is out to the 30-metre line. Woods. First run in the new session for him. Trebojevic wanted it, but it went to the right side. And it's with Tedesco. Pierce. Tackle was okay. Oh, Hayne is on the ground, appealing to the referee. It's so terrible the way blockers do that these days. They didn't give chasers any chance whatsoever. Let's have a look and see what happened here. They just come together and bump him out of the way. Now, that's just illegal. But they let it go all the time. Well, they did it. They did it in game two. Only three times. It was the biggest blight on the whole evening, really. They might have changed the rules in the last fortnight, have they? Yeah, Gillette lost his boot in one of the Blues players. Here's Munster making a big run. 20 metres out, 10 metres out. Floats the ball away for Holmes and he goes in. Holmes is in for three. Holmes has got three. And Munster. Oh, they're checking it. He was about to blow it, but something's happened. The linesman said something and they check it, the grounding. They got try. Thanks, mate. It's a brilliant catch from Valentine Holmes. Oh, actually, Munster, what a play he is. What a debut. And the long pass, Valentine he catches Holmes it. Valentine Holmes bobbles the ball forward, but regains possession before it comes Sorry. in contact with the ground or an opposition player. The tackle has not been completed, and the ball's been grounded in the end goal. In what, in origin, Have a decision going through the ball. History. Confirmed. Valentine Holmes has become the fifth Queenslander to score a hat-trick of tries in Origin football.
This is the Harvey Norman replay of this debutante, Munster, playing a vital role, and Holmes gets his third try. Well, unfortunately, Munster was able to step around Boyd Cordner there, who I've got to be honest, it seems to be struggling right from his opening run in the game. He was under doubt coming into this game. To me, he doesn't look 100%. And he was just wrong-footed and brushed aside there. Cameron Smith has been perfect with the boot. Another one from the left-hand touch line. <clears throat> yeah, I think there's pressure put on Boyd Corner there. I think Mitchell Pearce comes up and out of the line, which is, is rare for him. He normally needs it very well, and Smith, well, he pushes that across the face of goal. Brad Fitler. Well, the coup to Laurie Daly's message at half-time was that they had to work together to get out of this. And you see Mitchell Pearce here, he tries to solve a problem that was never a problem. Cameron Munster got the fend on, Boyd Courtney was off and running. And the hands on Valentine Holmes are just incredible. He took the kick earlier from Cooper Cronk, and have a look at that. Gets the balance, ducks to Desco, and over for his third. Yeah, with defence like that, when Mitchell Pearce runs out of the line, that just forces Cameron Munster to run through the hole. And that's all he did. For listening to the comments of some of the, the champions of origin. Brad Fittler, Darren Lockyer, Peter Sterling, Paul Vorton, Gus Gould, Wally Lewis. They've brought the whole shooting gallery to what Gus has been telling us is the biggest rugby <laughs> league match ever. We've seen this 16 6 score line before. I think that was the half time lead for New, for New South Wales in game two. Two converted tries. Got Queensland home. Last tackle now. Cooper Cronk under pressure. Gets it away. We're going down to this man that has been under them nicely. And now he, he's on the trampoline. While he's come down to the sideline. Blake Ferguson goes ahead. 30 metres out from his own line. Dugan goes long. Maloney gives it to Graham. Graham gets it away. Morris. Gagai's got him rounded up. 38 metres out. Now for Fafita. Big boo goes up from the crowd. It's obviously not going to win a popularity contest. Maloney, now it's away for Pierce to get it away to Tedesco, taken by Morgan coming in. 17, a dummy half bird. Maloney with a kick looking for Jared Hayne. It's come down with Gagai, and he's taken by Fafita. There's another great tackle by Michael Morgan on the far side of the field. Once again, making the decision to come in and try and snuff out the attack, and he did. It's working at the moment for him and for Queensland. This is Wallace. 20 metres out. Sixteen to go. Cronk starting a blindside raid. Slater came in. Slater. Inside 40, right foot step, goes back to the middle, Cronk bounces off Pierce and taken by Bird. Now for Munster, 20 metres out, shows it inside, rolls a kick in, beautiful weight, and Pierce is taken over the dead ball by Dillett. Well, that's huge, two huge plays by Mitchell Pierce. He makes the tackle on Cronk, who's backed up down the middle of the field. It was a massive collision. Little pet Short Melbourne Storm touch. play. Cronk to Slater. He's got to go back in field. He'll link up with Cronk. You watch Mitchell Pierce come from the other side of the field. Bang! Hits him hard. Gets back to marker. When they kick back into the end goal, who's there? Mitchell Pierce. Two big plays. Great play from Queensland. Time you run. So Maloney. Bouncing down to the halfway line. Munster sending 
Wallace back to be met by Woods. This this is the, the key set. 15 to go. Queensland starting with a set down this end of the field. Really looking to put the, the nail in the coffin here. Maguire for Cronk and Cronk for Gillett. Beautiful tackle, Maloney. Played to Slater. Slater to the blind side. Pierce is there. In fact, it was Tedesco, his Cronk. Just a metre short of the line. Down at the Milton Road end of the ground now. Five tackles gone. Long ball. Out to Smith. Long ball. Out to Munster. Munster got a ball away again. Here's another play. Initiated by Munster. Jared Wallace. For Jared Wallace to score. Jared Wallace in just his second game of origin has picked up a try. The Gold Coaster. Munster has put his authority on it again. I think he likes this number six Queensland jumper to desperation pass, but look, there's no Blues defence anywhere to be seen. to score an origin try. The crowd absolutely gone mad. This is the fellow that everybody was saying, can he do it on debut in a decider? There was a lovely story in the Courier Mail this morning talking about he gave up even trialling for junior reps in Rockhampton because all the talent scouts said he was soft. A fair few years later, the superstars of Melbourne think he's the toughest thing they've ever seen. And there's the conversion. It's 22 play six. Darren Locke, your sideline. Yeah, the two wide passes, that's what created the space. Cooper Cronk was playing the ball and the two passes, one from Smith out to Munster. And they just stopped competing in New South Wales. They stopped coming across. They just thought it ought to be a kick to the corner. Munster, he just thought, I'll do it over the best and run it. Great pass. Sure, that's the things, they're the things you've got to know about Origin. On tackle five, Munster was not going to die with the ball. A little bit of a fracker oh, yeah. here. Yeah, this is silly stuff here from Andrew for feeder. Boys, boys, it comes down on the boys, back of boys, the ball carrier. Boys. But if we watch that try again from high up, you'll hear what Darren Lockyer is talking about. You'll see what Darren Lockyer is talking about. Because the New South Wales players just knock off back on the inside. And on tackle five, Munster was always going to let the ball go. But there was no blue jerseys in the frame. Watch this. The ball goes wide. Now watch Woods and Fafita walk. See, they walk, they walk, they walk, they walk. Now they're just lazing around. That's origin football right there. Yeah. You never see Queensland do that. Never. You've got to keep turning up. That's the slogan, just keep turning up. And Jared Wallace only played 22 minutes in the first game. He didn't get to come on in the second half, so he'll be happy. He got back on in this second half and scored himself a try. So Maguire... <clears throat> Shot clock starts. ...has uh, uh, lost the start. ball just into an opponent. I think was the way they've judged on this. Time off. Shot clock still runs. Well, let's have a look at this crowd. It's 52,540. So it's a stadium record. I thought the capacity was 52,5 reps. That's what I thought too. That's why I other, went with it. Where are the other 40 sitting? I don't know. Sitting. <laughs> I've got no idea. But congratulations to Brisbane and Queensland and those people that have journeyed from the south. As I said to you, walking the streets of Brisbane. 
you knew that something very special was happening in this city. They've embraced it and turned this into an event of massive stature. This has all been knocked on and knocked back, and it's a penalty. A penalty goes to the Blues. Yeah, it's a bit fortunate. I think Fafita was trying to offload that ball when it was taken away from him. New South Wales need a try in this set of six. Can't wait another minute. There's Woods. Just under 10 to go. Clemmer. Plenty of numbers out here. Tedesco. So Jack Bird goes into dummy half. And Clemmer pushes on. Eight metres out. But the margin is now 22 to 6. I'm reminded that Queensland have come back after losing game one to win the series five times. It's looking like six. Graham. Out the back play for Maloney. Gagai has been good again. He's in that tackle with Cronk. Now for Pierce. He's looking for his jumpers over there. The bat down for Bird. There is a chance on. Here's Dugan looking for two. Changeover. Well, I guess the, the great aspect of this performance from Queensland, who really have been dominant from early in the game, is that the only New South Wales tries come from a kick. They really close down the Blues comfortably it looks like Ben Hunt it was a slightly controversial selection on the bench for Queensland he's about to get his first taste of origin football on he comes in the number 14 Queensland in actual fact have used 26 players in this series that's more than ever before by any Maroons team in the history had a lot of injuries they've used three different five eights in three games here he is in jumper number 14 Ben Hunt comes from a little place called Dingo, just outside of, of Rocky, isn't it? I meant to some, went to some Brendans out at Yapoon. So the two Rocky boys had their, their debuts together, Munster and Hunt. Well, they've been extraordinary. It's been a wonderful game. I know there's a gap on the scoreboard now, but the pressure that Queensland has applied has been unrelenting. Here's the Blues through the hands. And Morris put down by this, this sliding defence on the right side. And Gagai's been good. He hasn't really... Well, he hasn't really given them a hope. And here's... Here it is here, mate. And knock on. It was nearly an intercept by boys. Michael Morgan, who's defended really well on that side tonight. Yeah, that had intercept written all over it. Yeah, Mitchell Pearce actually, he wound this up, and I think at the last minute he thought, well, it's going to be your night or mine. There's the Telstra tracker distance covered. Mitchell Pearce, Mitchell Pearce again leading the way. But on that pass there, Mitchell Pearce looked at Michael Morgan and said, well, it's going to be your night or mine. He comes across, he doubles it, and he really tried to take Morgan on. Morgan nearly got the grab. Here's Maloney with Graham. You find one, you find the other. So we are six and a half minutes out from the completion of Holden Origin for 2017. Queensland destined to be champions 11 times in the last 12 years. For Fiedler out wide, got a ball out for Dugan. Jammed up by Holmes. Now there's numbers. Tedesco got the ball back for Pierce. Three metres out. Great defence. Yeah, look at the Queensland jerseys that turned up then. They were everywhere. Maloney's kick, 
Gagai backpedaling, it's out on the full. Oh, he's, he's tried to do a Cooper Cronk. Well, he put that into the crowd. That's extraordinary from Queensland. The New South Wales attack has become more and more frantic, and Maloney just ran out of ideas. There and Alfie. Alfie makes a grab. It's all Queensland. I think if you go back 15 minutes into this second half, New South Wales got back to 12-6. Course and error on the Queensland line, and the Maroons came up with a set of six. And the Blues look like getting back onto the, the same score, but look like getting back to 12 all. But they resisted, turned the Blues away, and not long after went down the other end and scored their own points. So this night, which has in many ways been dedicated to Jonathan Thurston's origin career, as I said somewhere in the, the preview, it was shrine-like. And uh, he's going to get... I know it's a poor, a poor way to do it, I suppose, when you think of his career, but it's, it's a wonderful farewell in many ways for JT sitting up there in the box. Well, you know, Next to Matt Scott, I might add. There's one thing that hasn't been raised about Jonathan Thurston and his performance in Game 2. If he was a really selfish person, after what happened in Game 1, he might have saved himself for Game 3 to have a farewell here tonight. But play with a busted shoulder in Game 2, knowing they had to win that game to level the series. And it was his kick from the sideline that put them here tonight with a chance to carry the shield. And that's a sacrifice for the team. I reckon he knew he only had one game in him. But for the team, he took it to Sydney and got them in this game three. It's a very good point you make. Dugan has tried his insides out in this second half particularly. Scored the try that some fought. That's got them back. Knocked on by Fafida. Queensland are high-fiving. Yeah. They know. They know now. The crowd knows now, too. Let the celebrations begin, you might say. Magnificent victory for the Maroons tonight. And some of this defence that they produced tonight, I just tell you, Rav, sitting here as an old, a battling back rower back in the 80s who wore this jumper with pride, that I'm so proud of the way they played tonight. They've just come together as a team. They're just magnificent. Now they just keep turning up for each other, for their fans, for their family. And they've done it again, Queensland. It's incredible how they just keep doing it. Well, it's an extraordinary run. 11 out of 12 years. And this was a year where they literally looked vulnerable. This would be devastating for the Blues and all those associated with their camp. They haven't won back-to-back -back games in Brisbane for 20 years, the Blues. And they've not won twice in Brisbane in the same series since 1996. They were some of the, the things they were up against. So that's a penalty for the marker getting Here we are, boys. offside or not direct. Right there, mate. And of course, right the game has shown up until now that if Go you win here, game mate. one, 75% of you win the series. That's been denied this year. They'll just take their time and kick the goal here, surely. Yeah, he'll put this on the yeah. he'll put this on the kicking tee. This will just about see out the game. The crowd will rise to their feet. Blue supporters starting to leave the stadium. I don't think there'll be a Maroon supporter leaving. They'll be here for what will be a very sweet victory lap. An extraordinary series. Look, they're all up now. Cameron Smith will milk this out and take his time with the kick. Well, look at the Maroons. This is their house. Jonathan Thurston, 37 games of origin. 10 series he won. He was there for the entire, the entire dynasty. Most points scored in origin, 220. Most consecutive games, 36. Most goals, 99. Farewell, JT, from origin, but they've done you proud.
So Smith. He's just offline. Time out. Time off. Drop out. Just offline. Took a long time to take that. I reckon he's done his tax return quicker than that. Church, stay close to it. Yeah. But as the clock ticks away, one can only stand in the floor at what has been a remarkable era for Queensland. When you consider, Gus, the players that aren't in the Queensland side, Greg yeah. Inglis, Matt Scott, Jonathan Thurston tonight, the list goes on and on and on. No excuses at all for the Blues. It was their series to win. It looked that way for a game and a half. But as origin history tells us, they just can't contend with the heart and the togetherness of this Queensland side. Let's not forget Kevin Walters. He's done a wonderful job, took some gambles. He knew with no English and occasionally Thurston and Slater and Boyd. It wasn't going to be easy, but they've won it. It wasn't going to be easy, but they've won it. Let's stay with them. the ground here's Darren Lockyer. Yeah Rabs I'm just trying to get old Billy Slater here. He's just giving Cameron Munster that bill. How yeah, good mate. Oh so good Lockie. That's a that's a pretty big win for Queensland mate. We've had so many injuries not just uh coming into the series but during the series and geez that was one hell of a game. How are you mate? You, had, you rolled the ankle on Sunday. Yeah no it wasn't ideal uh it was pretty sore when I first did it. I rolled it against Cronulla leading into the second game and might have been horizontal for the last three days just trying to get the swelling out. And uh, I had a run yesterday and I was still a little bit concerned, but mate, it's, uh, it's a great feeling and uh, a little ankle sprain wasn't going to uh, keep me out of this one. We talk about this one. I mean, how do you walk away from this? You've got to be back here next year, haven't you? No, tell our little long-headed mate us sitting up in the stands. It's pretty hard to walk away from, but um, oh, it is hard, Lockie. It's this is uh, this is why you play the game, the enjoyment. This is the enjoyment that the game brings you, and to hear the the crowd uh, just driving on the bus, I could hear the the Queenslanders singing out Queenslander on the side of the road, and it just sends goosebumps up your spine, and um, oh, it's it's a great feeling, mate. Two shoulder recos. Did you ever think you'd be back here tonight? <laughs> no. Oh, look, I, I didn't know what to expect. I, I had to work really hard and wait a long time. But this is, this is all worth it, mate. And um, now everyone has injuries, and uh, I've had my fair share over the last couple of years. But I'm pretty happy right now. Hey, unbelievable. Going into it, buddy. Well done. Thanks, Lockie. Cheers, mate. Have you, Freddie. What's going through your mind, Jimmy? Oh, mate. Uh, now, as a, as a team, to put a performance like that on in... Occasion like this, mate, it's horrible. It's, mate, you're never going to win a game of footy playing like that. And to do it at a moment like this, mate, it's, yeah, look, it's, yeah, it's horrible, mate. New South Wales deserve better. Laurie deserves better, mate, the coaching staff, mate. Though. We haven't leaked 22 points all series. We're leaking now. We, we scored more than six you know, every other game. Like, mate, yeah, it's, mate, that disappointing. At 12-6, could you feel the momentum swinging towards you? Yeah, mate, we spoke about half-time. I think we completed about 65%, which is it's like playing reserve grade. And, oh, mate, it's, and it was just across the board. You know, as a group, we needed to be better, mate. And 
we turned out that on a, on the biggest occasion. Thanks for your time, mate. Lockie. Yeah, here with Valentine Holmes, mate. Is this a dream come true? Yeah, it is. You know, I was talking to the boys all week, and you know, last time I played here was I was under uh, under, under 16s, you know, in the Queensland. Um, so, so I haven't played here in a while, and it's a dream come true to you know to score a try and, and at Suncorp, but to be able to score three and get the series win, you know, it's unbelievable. It wouldn't have been this sort of atmosphere playing under 16s, would there? No, no, it was nothing like this. You know, it's, I haven't played in a while, so um, yeah, no, it's just like I said, dream come true. Is that? What, can you explain what it feels like to run out here in your first time for Queensland? Um, to be honest, I got goosebumps for probably two minutes straight, you know, singing the national anthem, running out with these boys and, you know, doing it for Jono, for, the, for G.I. and all the boys that can't play. And, um, you know, to get the win is just it's unbelievable. You know, we fought back in that second game and the way we played tonight is just unreal. Talk us through that third try, mate. Um, oh, Munster did all of it there, you know, he's a, he's a talented young, young player there and, you know, he broke through and I was, I was actually waiting for the kick. I'd prefer a kick there, but, you know, he's got a good left right and probably a bit behind me, but I don't know, it's just instincts, I guess. Mate, the team's going. Go with them, go and enjoy it, mate. Well done tonight. Thank you. Thank up you. to you, Brace. Thank you, Darren. Well, coming up, the official presentation, the naming Thank of the man of the match for tonight and the Wally Lewis thanks. medalist for the player of the series. We'll also relive all the big moments of Queensland's triumph over New South Wales. You are watching State of Origin, The Decider on Nine's Wide World of Sports. Four, three, two, one. Farewell, JT from Origin. They've done you proud. It wasn't going to be easy, but they've won it. It wasn't going to be easy, but they've won it. But stay. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Welcome to the official presentation for the Holden State of Origin Game 3, the decider in Brisbane tonight. What an incredible series. Let's congratulate both rugby league teams, the Queensland 4X Maroons winners against New South Wales in Game 3, 22 points to 6. Valentine Holmes scoring a hat-trick tonight and also a front row forward, Jared Wallace, getting across the line at the southern end of the arena. Our official party tonight, please welcome John Grant, the chairman of the ARLC, Mark Bernhard, chairman and managing director of GM Holden, and thank you to Holden for their support since 2013 of State of Origin. Bruce Hatcher with us, chairman of the Queensland Rugby League, Dr George Paponis, chairman of the New South Wales Rugby League, and a former Australian captain. And ladies and gentlemen, Let's make some noise tonight for an eight-time man of the match. The legend is on stage, Wally Lewis. It's my pleasure right now to announce the Wally Lewis medal winner for 2017. History has been made tonight. The first winger to be announced the man of the series. He ran for over 550 metres in 2017. A try scoring machine, ladies and gentlemen, Dane Gagai is the player of the series. Seven tries in six origin matches for Dane Gagai. His official numbers, 577 metres in the 2017 Holden State of Origin Series. To say a few words, the first winger in Origin history to be named Man of the Series, Dane Gagai. Well done. Mate. Well, absolutely. Yeah, um, to be honest, I don't know where to start. Um, obviously, can't, can't thank um, Kevy enough for, for showing faith in me, um, picking me in the side for all three series. Um, I want to thank all the boys. Um, everything I do out here, I try to do to my best ability and not let them down. So without them, um, I wouldn't be standing here right now. Um, I'd like to acknowledge the Blues boys and, and congratulate them on a, on a great series. Um, one of the toughest I've ever played in. And, and you can hold your head high. It was the toughest series I've ever been a part of. And I uh, just want to thank the fans 
for showing up tonight, all your support. I want to I wanna thank my family for making the trek from Mackay to come be with me tonight and all the families that come from both sides to be here. I want to thank my partner, Kelly. She supported me throughout this whole time. Um, and I just want to thank everyone for that show support tonight. Thank yous. The Wally Lewis medal winner in 2017, Dane Gagai. Ladies and gentlemen, New South Wales winners here in game one, an incredible performance, 28 points to four, going down narrowly in game two in Sydney. Let's acknowledge them now with their captain coming to the stage to say a few words. Would you please welcome Boyd Cordner? Um, firstly, just like to congratulate Cameron and the Queensland team. Um, it's been an awesome series, and you know you showed your class in game two. You fought your way back and set it to a decider, and these are too good tonight. Well done. Um, also, I'd like to congratulate Jonathan Thurston on a uh, great rep career. <laughs> Mate, I'm sure it's uh, it's not the way you wanted it to end, but. You know, I'm, I'm privileged to say I got to play with you. You're a legend of the bloke, legend of the game, and um, well done, mate. Excellent. Also, uh, to Cooper Cronk, whatever you decide to do as well. Um, to Laurie and uh, the New South Wales boys, uh, you know, it's been a good journey, a big journey. Um, you know, ever since the, the first meeting we had when we got together, I knew we had something special. Uh, you know, we showed it in game one and, and for most of game two and, you know, we can, we can hold our heads high and be proud. Uh, I know I'm proud of you and, you know, we, we didn't give up, we fought until the end. Um, I'd like to thank family and friends that travelled with us um, along with the journey and, you know, you know, you're with us there through thick and thin. Also, I'd like to thank New South Wales fans who, who made the trip up and all the fans uh, watching at home as well. You know, you've been loyal to us through thick and thin, and we really appreciate that. Um, it doesn't go unnoticed, and we know you'll turn up again for us next year. Thank you. Boyd Cordner, captain of the New South Wales VB Blues. Tonight was the 60th win in origin history for Queensland. Time to invite an absolute legend of the game on stage. Almost time to present the Holden State of Origin Shield. He's played more games than any player in State of Origin history. His 42nd tonight, played his junior footy just down the road at South Slogan. Please welcome on stage, Cameron Smith. Cameron will say a few words and then we'll hand over the Holden State of Origin Shield to Queensland in 2017. Um, that was pretty, uh, that was pretty special that result, but uh, Um, I'd just like to start by uh, thanking the New South Wales Blues, you an early heads up uh, to Laurie, um, Boydie and all the boys, thank you very much for a fantastic series. You guys have been fantastic in all three games. Um, it's probably just a touch unfortunate that uh, he's had to come up here and, and try and knock us off again up at home. But um, boys, you've been fantastic and uh, thanks again for a wonderful series and um, good luck next year. Eh? Um, Thank you to uh, all the sponsors, Holden for the series, all of our sponsors, uh, Sun Suncorp, Canterbury, Forex, for your uh, ongoing support. Um, couldn't have done that without you guys, so thank you. Thank you to all the crowd that turned up tonight. That was... Uh... <laughs> I don't know, I've been, I've been pretty fortunate to play a fair few of these matches, but... Um... I don't know, I just don't get tired of running out of that tunnel and uh, hearing you guys scream. So thank you very much for turning up tonight and showing your support once again. 
Uh, to Kevy, all the coaching staff, the rest of the footy staff, thank you very much for everything that you've done for us. Not only for this game, but the entire series. All we really have to worry about is turn up at training, and getting our job done and getting here game night and uh, doing our best. So you're always there to help us in whatever way we need, guys. So thank you very much. Couldn't have done without you. Uh, to the entire squad, um, I think we used something like 28, 26 or 28 players this year. It's fairly unprecedented for uh, this team. We've been lucky over the last decade to sort of keep a, a core side together. But um, you know, to, to pull everyone together to, you know, tonight and through the series, a lot of debutants and get over the line against the quality footy side, boys, that's a special effort and uh, one I think we'll all remember for a long time, so well done. And um, I'm supposed to go lift the shield up now, but I'm going to invite my little mate Johnny Thurston up here. Because, um... Um, we've, uh, we've had our, you know, our own presentations and our own sort of discussions around Jonathan's last game, which was game two. Um, it was unfortunate that he couldn't finish here tonight in front of his, uh, his beloved Queensland fans. Um, Because I've got to tell you, I don't know if I've come across a more passionate Queenslander. And, uh, mate, for what you've done in this jersey, uh, I don't think anyone can ever thank you enough, mate. So I know there's been plenty said and plenty of presentations this, this week and tonight. <laughs> but um, mate, you're... Um, I reckon you're the greatest person or player that's ever pulled on a Maroon jersey, mate, and I just want to thank you on behalf of our team and everyone here tonight for what you've done. And, mate, uh, I want to wish you all the very best for the future, mate. Let's lift this shield up together. Queensland fans, here it is, 27 2017 Holden State of Origin Champions. Thank you tonight to the official party, John Grant, Mark Bernhard, Bruce Hatcher, Dr. George Paponis, and the King, Wally Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, Queensland will embark on a lap of honor in just a moment. Holden State of Origin champions in 2017, the Queensland 4X Maroons. It's becoming an all too familiar sight, isn't it? Queensland, the champions of State of Origin Rugby League, once more a third straight series win and 11th in 12 years.